became an activist because I was a soldier in the Israeli army. I'm 38 years old. I served 20 years ago. And I served in the um, um, Special Forces Unit of the Infantry Nacha Brigade. And me and my team were snipers. And when you serve as a sniper in the West Bank and Gaza, you are inside Palestinian cities, towns, but more than, more than everything else, you are inside Palestinian homes. Almost every night we did an operation that is called the straw widow. Straw widow is when you take a private Palestinian house and turn it into a military post. It means that you have to storm the house in the middle of the night, drag all of the family members from their beds, and put them in one room so they won't bother us. And then we put our sniping rifles, and me as the spotter of the team, I would put my thermal camera in one of the rooms. Then we start scanning the city. And during that time, if one of the family members wants to eat, to drink, to take medicine, to go to the bathroom, they need authorization from us. Because it's our house. It's not their house anymore. And Strawberry could be two hours, or four hours, or six hours, or two days. Right? And after that ends, we just take all of our weapons and everything, and we go back to the base. And when we go back to the base, the first time we did it, I, I, I understood that we ruined the Palestinian family's life. Not because we had information, not because we want to shoot at someone, because they told us this is a routine operation. You have to be with your sniping rifles inside the Palestinian city. And I was brought up on the idea that I have to protect Israel. But what am I, what I'm doing in, in the Israeli army is protecting Israel. And that wasn't protecting Israel. That was controlling Palestinians. And that's a different thing altogether. So you ask me how I became an, an activist. I served in the IDF. And, and I think that as an Israeli, we have the moral obligation to speak about what we did over there. It's not a secret that belongs to me as, as a soldier <coughs> or as an Israeli. It's something that everybody should know that is happening almost every night. Straw widows like I did. But every day, we have checkpoints and the Palestinians giving permits and now fighting in Gaza and arrest. It's an ongoing occupation of 57 years.